previously on the Ultimate Iron Man series. We did the nightmare. We got some drops, did as many combat achievements as possible. It was a great time. Go check it out if you're curious. However, in this video, we're gonna be doing something completely different than anything we've ever done before. We are going into the wilderness, risking the account in hopes to get a nice red pickaxe. Also, combat achievements. Okay, bye. Hello, hello, welcome to the UAM Loki Show. As you can see, we are here at the Nightmare, and we got 150kc here, combined with our 100kc at the Fasani's Nightmare, that's 250kc, which means we are done with the Nightmare, as we are a Nightmare veteran, so probably won't come back here for a long time until we get the Scythe, because we have a few more tasks that we want to complete in the combat achievement thing, but we pretty much need the Scythe for all those. So what I'm going to do for this video is something a little bit different. Our looting bag is pretty damn full. One of the things that you'll see in here is that there is an Amulet of Glory, which is the best in slots amulet for wilderness content, because as in Ultimate Iron Man, we do not keep any items on death, regardless of whether or not we're scold. So there's no way I'm going to risk the anguish or any good gear. The glory is going to be the one that we're going to take out there. So I guess uh, let's go ahead and get prepared for some wilderness bosses. If we go to the combat diary here, open up the hard section, we pretty much have to do every single one. Callisto, Chaos Ellie, Scorpia. Oh god, that's going to be terrible. Vetian, Venatus, just like every everything so i did hear like mod husky say recently that they're going to be like rebalancing the wilderness bosses after the dead man moan tournament is over and i think it's over like next week so i want to do this as fast as possible so i suppose let's go on over there and do that and see if we can complete it before the uh the rebalancing occurs one little thing i do want to take care of first is that we managed to get 67 snapdragons plus this patch here in the form of snapdragon seeds from the nightmare so we're gonna go ahead and harvest this last guy here and then we'll just make him into super restores real quick before we start the video off one other little thing before we start the wilderness boss grind i did manage to get 189 marks of grace while we were doing the nightmare we would come here and just like do some laps in between kills and so i just want to get 190 so i can uh convert them into a nice stack of amulet crystals because you have to trade in 10 at a time. If we go ahead and open up the looting bag here, you'll see that we do have a lot of super energies and a lot of stamina potions that we kind of want to consolidate into one space because there's really no reason to have two spaces for like one item. I'm pretty sure we'll have to do like 60 hours of agility in order to do that and I just don't like ever want to like do that. So it's nice to get this passive like stack here. That's like 10 hours of agility that we just like did. It didn't really feel like it at all. I really do not see us ever going through 15,000 doses of stamina, but I literally just cannot bring myself to drop the super energies. It would clear up a space and be a little bit more manageable, but ultimately I feel like we're going to get 99 agility anyway someday, so it would be a waste to kind of drop them. I don't know, maybe maybe I'll end up dropping them if it's like a stack of 500 someday in the future, but for now we're going to we're gonna hold on to them. I just found a guy who's also Loki. I don't think I've ever met another Loki in the game. Oh, I guess the, the Dead Man finals are happening right now. I wonder how much of this wilderness content we're going to be able to do before the wilderness rebalancing. I feel like we should get at least a week or two, but maybe we won't. Alrighty, there is 1900 more doses of stamina, 1700 super energy left. Alright, so here is our 57 super restores that we made from those snapdragons. And the last thing that I want to do before starting the grind here is probably we're gonna drop over this nightmare staff to the main here i mean it's a pretty cool item to have on a uam it's like a massive flex but it's completely useless because i have the kodai um it would be good for Barrage Slayer or like just casting stuff because it does have a plus 15% magic damage bonus, which is really nice. But even if we got the Harmonized Orb, Fire Surge would still be less DPS than the Trident of the Swamp unless we had a Tome of Fire. It's kind of just not really feasible at all. So we're going to be dropping the Nightmare Staff over to the main. That's a nice little 20 mil drop there. <laughs> it's uh it's pretty awesome that we got that i'm happy about that and i'll probably end up dropping this inquisitor's helm someday in the future i'm gonna hold on to it for now just because i'm not really pressed for inventory space at the moment but it's only plus one strength bonus over the nezzy so i don't know if it's worth an inventory spot but uh for now we'll just hang on to it because it does look pretty sick honestly all right so this is the inventory well it's like equipment that we're going to be bringing the first boss we're going to be doing is venonatus so we're going to be ranging him as you can tell i wouldn't really mind losing any of this stuff uh 
like I said, it only takes 25 minutes to get. Aside from the glory, that would take like another maybe 20, 10, 20 minutes to get. So I suppose we'll go ahead and suicide all of our stuff on the ground. And we'll begin the process of killing the wilderness bosses on an ultimate Iron Man, assuming we can actually die. There we go. The time is 2.26 p.m., which means at 3.26 p.m. our stuff will despawn. And we are on world 391. Quadruple check, that's correct. Yep, we're good to go. This is it, guys. We are going out into the wildy with our wildy setup. Guess we teleport to the corp beast lair. Got some prayer potions, ranging potions, anti-poison, and food. It's pretty much just a straight shot from the corp lair. Then Anatus is like right there or something. Venonatus is like the only wilderness boss I've ever killed uh, for more than like an hour. So I'm pretty comfortable with this boss. I figure that's where I should start. I forget how many we even have to kill. It might be like 150 or 100, I forget. Yeah, there's only two tasks, uh, 50 KC and 100. Okay, so that should not even be that bad. Um, looks like I still have all the tiles marked from when I did this a long time ago. Plus we get to use the 2200 total skill worlds. So this should be not too bad, honestly. All right, there's the guy. Let's get the lure. Kind of forget what to do actually nope that's not right so what we do is we walk over here shit he can deal like i think 80 damage in one tick if you're not careful all you do is this you walk here you walk here he gets sort of stuck right there and then you just walk under him here boom what we need is for him to walk one tile south it's like a very particular method that we have to do. The reason I'm using this method is uh, as opposed to like the more popular north method is because the north method is more popular and I don't really want to deal with people. I'd like to avoid dying if I can avoid it. There we go. So now he is effectively lured. He will stay here. We'll run up here, tank one hit, and he'll come up around this tree, this tree line here. And now he is lured. He'll try, we'll attack him. He'll try and run back. But he will find he is stuck and he cannot make it back. So we'll range pod up here and we'll flick rigor. This tile here, this like sort of line is actually singles combat. Cause as you can see, we're in multi here. So if we walk over here, we're in singles. If we get like attacked by a clan. Plus I even brought the anti-dragon fire shield so we can X log on the dragons. This method is tried and true, optimized as well as I can. I have no idea how long these kills are going to take because this setup is pretty shit. Hopefully rigor will help a bit, but yeah, this is not looking good so far. That's like five zeros in a row. It's also been like probably two years since I've even killed this guy. So I don't even know if the north spot is still the most popular spot or if the south spot is more used now or what the current meta is. I guess we'll just figure that out as we as we go. There's a nice hit. I think I might have actually killed this boss like just barely, like maybe maybe like episode five or 10, like a really long time ago. But there's our first kill for the video, 400 chaos runes. But yeah, so we got 97 KC to go. So far, so good. It's essential that you walk uh, this little section here. If you don't, he won't come as far south as you need him to. Also, the reason I have this tile marked here, this is the most far away you can attack the boss from. If I attack from here, it'll drag me in. Unless, of course, we're on long range. If you have like an ACB, I'm pretty sure you could stand here in long range, which is one tile away from uh, single combat if you're like super, super paranoid or something. What'll happen a lot of the time, right when you kill the boss, the PKers will like run from up here, down here, because they know you're going to run in to pick up the loot. So it's always good to be careful because they'll they'll log up up here because I, I guess you get a good vantage point from up there or something. I don't know. I'll just, I'll, I have marked his southwest tile so I can make this a little more clear. You want his southwest tile to go there. And once it goes there or any more south, south or uh, west than there, he's lured. So I don't exactly know how the pathing works, but I guess you would have like a 25% chance for him to just go one tile south because he could theoretically go northeast, south or west, right? I saw a peak air. I saw him. I saw him. <sighs> Oh, that's scary. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this, man. Oh God, I guess we'll just hop. I don't think he saw me. Is this like a really bad idea to do during the dead man mode finals? Couldn't like all the servers go down or something when it like ultimately doesn't work or whatever? Hey, we got our looting bag back at least. 5kc. Uh, I guess we'll pretty much be leaving every single thing on the ground except for the dragon pick. And I think he drops like 60 onyx bolts and 100 snapdragons. Those are probably worth picking up, but everything else, I guess these blood runes too, but everything else, we're just gonna be leaving on the ground. So rip 100 magic logs. He just despawned. I have never, okay, at least he's like almost dead still. I guess he despawns. I've never had a kill go so slow that he despawned. What was that? That was, a bit of, that was like five minutes. It looks like according to this range potion. Wow. So I guess we'll have to make some like diamond bolts E or something because that can't really be happening. Uh, shoot. Okay, well, I guess we'll go do that when we uh, refresh the loot pile. All right, there is six KC, so. Let's get out of here and uh, yeah, we'll go, we'll go make some, I guess we'll make ruby bolts cause that's probably better. 
So that was like 4kc in 40 minutes. That is, that is not, uh, that is not ideal. Fun fact, this is how ultimate iron men make adamant bolts. You kill these guys and you get this stuff. Then you turn this stuff into that stuff. You buy these one at a time from the shop and you turn them in to these. It would be like pretty ideal to go and craft all of these that we need for the whole grind. But at the same time, if we do that and then we die, that would be like a waste of time. And I don't like wasting my time. So I guess we'll just do this a few times. Uh, we'll just bring the broad bolts as well. We're not going to be using the ruby spec if he's out like, like 50 HP or whatever. We'll just try and maximize the value we get out of these. And as long as he doesn't reset after five minutes, it should be okay. Also, if we look at the loot table for the boss, uh, I think he does drop... Where is it? Yeah, he does drop diamond bolts E. 100 of them at a rate of 1 in 125 so that's not that's not like too uncommon so hopefully we'll get a couple of those drops hey looting bag first kill back fun fact this little uh this little there's a little stump here this little stump uh makes it so this method is a lot harder than it needs to be but previously like i don't know like five years ago this stump was actually here so that stump was actually there but they moved it one tile over to make this method a lot harder because this used to be like the original safe spot so they thought that by moving the stump over it would make it no longer a safe spot but it still is it just requires a lot more effort Ooh, 500 red spiders eggs that's like a really good drop for like a normal iron man but I'm actually not gonna like take that home with me. I'm probably just gonna pick it up on the off chance we get a 100 Snapdragon drop. But otherwise, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna... Well, I guess, you know, I guess I'll hang on to this drop until the end of the grind because we'll, we'll probably get one or two of those Snapdragon drops and then we can just make them because we don't really need uh, to worry about inventory space while we're doing this too much. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's like the most iconic drop you can get from here. This is sort of just like a gambling thing. He's moved one tile north, so now I need him to go two tiles south. Now three tiles south and I'm gonna tank a hit. Now four tiles south. So at some point, okay, we're getting it, we're getting it, we're getting it. We're getting it, now we're not, now we are, now we're not. Now we don't know. Now he's just dancing around. Uh, It's like a, it's kind of like a, it's a mini game, honestly. There it is. Oh, uh, wait, now he's out. He was in. Okay, so at some point you just gotta call it and you gotta reset him. Because you're guaranteed to get him back to being to the position where he needs to go one tile south again. 20 uncut rubies? That'll save us like 20k on some more ruby bolts. Oh, and diamonds. Wow, nice. I just like realized I've been flicking eagle eye for this like whole kill. I'm pretty sure. That's like really weird. Never done that before. Unless I'm tapping into some like ancient muscle memory. Because when I did this on my Iron Man, I don't think I had rigor. <laughs> I wonder if that's what... Ja, wow, I wonder if that's what just happened. Some onyx bull tips. That's like 600k. Right? If we like turn them into onyx bolts and alchem. Hell yeah, dude. We're getting all the good drops already. For what it's worth, I may as well show you guys. You can actually melee him while he's in this spot as well. So I'll take off the crossbow. We'll come over here and attack him and he'll still try and get back. So if you have Varix, this method works uh, just the same. You don't even have to pray or anything. Antidote plus plus. So now we don't have to go get super anti-poison after every single trip. So we're just like fucking raking in all this shit, man. We got all the sustainability now. I think the last thing I want to say about the method, uh, uh, well, it's sort of two things. You got this web here, stand one tile north of it for him to see you from his spawn point. And he's gonna do this little stutter thing. So he's gonna, okay, I guess it's two tiles north. So I don't even listen to anything I'm saying because apparently I don't know. And now he's moved north, so the whole thing's ruined. But he's gonna do this little stutter step if we can actually get him. And we wanna run to this web tile here. Watch it, boom, there it is. Stutter step, he's gonna like get off us and then get back on us. That's like essential. You run to this tile here, fuck. Okay, guys, never mind. This whole video is a wipe. Once he's on you, he's gonna stutter step, and then you run to this tile here. You pause here for one tick, and then you run up here. And if you do it properly, he will only attack you once, so he won't get that second attack off. And that's kind of important, because he can stack you out for like a 90, like I was saying before. And then, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much every little thing that I want to talk about. So I'll see you when we get the deep pick, except probably not. All right, that is a seven kill trip, seven to 14. So that's that's an eight kill trip. Uh, our stuff despawns in 12 minutes. We didn't see a single person. I guess we used like 70 Ruby Bolt C. So yeah, let's go refresh the loot pile and we'll send another trip. All right, another seven kill trip, I think, for some rune knives. Oh God, someone just logged in. I didn't, I looked like he had black tea hide. I don't think he was a PKer, although he might've been. Wow, that was incredible timing. Our stuff despawns in 11 minutes, so let's go take care of that. Nice little nine onyx bull tips to add to the onyx bull tip stack, I suppose, right? Ho oh, ho. That's scary. Whoa, what is this guy doing here? What? Why is he already lured? That's the first, like, official PKer that I've ever seen. And I just lost the entire feeling in the bottom half of my body. So, oh, okay. 
I guess we'll like, what do we do, man? I don't know what we do. I guess we'll just keep going. Hopefully he doesn't hop the world and find us. The secret is to hop back onto the world he was just on. Cause there's no way he's like gonna stick around, right? He's probably just going to the world list. He'll probably like check this world in like 10 minutes or something, right? I, I don't know how it works, man. I'm just, I'm gonna stick to the strategy. Hey, our first ever diamond bolt drop. Why is that not highlighted? That's hella good, man. That means, dude, that is sick. I think the drop rate is 1 in 25 as well, so we're perfectly on drop rate for that. That means we don't have to use these broads anymore, but we'll just hold on to them for in case we end up using all these, I guess, right? 25 KC, one quarter of the way done. Hey, we won an LMS thing. I think I'm only going to stay up for another like 10 minutes, so I didn't feel like doing another Venatus run. But we're up to 68 LMS points. I don't know if I ever want to spend any of these on like, there's some like cool cosmetic stuff we could get. Halos are 450. Wow, I didn't realize they were that much. I guess we can get this thing. We have three wins. Does this cost anything? I've never actually seen this. Yeah, it's kind of kind of cool, I guess. Hey, that's not Venonatus, that's mining. You are correct, astute viewer. We are mining because we're editing the next video. So we are five levels away from Amethyst, right? Should be about 500 more videos and we will get there. Two dragon stones from the crystal imp. I think I'm actually gonna hold on to those in case we die and lose our glory. We will have two backup ones. That's actually pretty nice because I was kind of afraid of what we were gonna do in that situation. But now it's all sorted out. I'm actually pretty happy that we're doing this right now. I just spent all day editing, so I'm pretty psyched to get some Venonatus trips in. And if we look at our skill tab here, we are 87 mining. That's currently our lowest skill tied with prayer. And it'll be really nice if we can get like a dragon pick for like the last half of 99 mining. Assuming we uh, max someday, which I guess we probably will. Because we're, like, I don't know, I guess we're kind of close to this point. Oh god, there's a guy. He looks like he's chilling. He's got a lance. Oh god. That's actually scary. I don't like that. He said you're dead. Uh, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, is he an Iron Man? Okay, never mind. We're safe. We're safe. There's no way an Iron Man would do that to me. This is a long clip. I was just trying to say I really want to get the D-Pick. That'd be super nice. Yay, more antidotes. Nice. All right, there's a guy, but he's got a crossbow. Picante, please don't scout me or call me out. He logged. Hopefully he was just a normal, friendly member of the RuneScape community. Right? Those those exist, right? We got like 500 bolt procs that trip. That was like a nine kill trip or something. That's gotta be a PB. And we get the diamonds and rubies to send us on our way, which is great because we are running low on bolts. 50 diamonds, 40 rubies. So we'll go make like 200 more of each and then we'll uh, head back on out there after picking up our stuff, of course. How did I know we were gonna get this? The one time I actually want the ruby bolt tips from the crystal imp, we actually get it. Hell yeah, dude, that's fucking sexy. As we're going to make more, no less. Yay, another diamond bolt drop, another 100 added to the stack. 48 KC, we are gonna end the trip here. That was a 10 kill trip, so not too bad. Yeah, 50 KC at the spider. We are Venonatus adepts here. No interesting drops to speak of, well, some interesting drops, but no dragon pickaxes. So we're halfway and we will continue on with the spider squashing. The reason that I like go one, out, like out for one tick and then back to the safe spot is because sometimes he'll go into the lured spot, but since you're staying there for like two ticks, he'll go into the lured spot and then back to being not lured. So by just going in for one tick and going out, going in for one tick, going out, you're just hedging against the, uh, you're, you're like essentially getting, there it is. You're essentially getting less rolls. The cost is that you're getting less rolls on moving his, uh, character, but the reward is that you're also getting more control over where the boss is moving. God damn, dude, this guy, Larry is always coming out the cuts and just fucking makes my heart sink. <laughs> Oh god, he'll just like, he'll just come up like boom, like right here. And then I'm just like, shit, I'm gonna get PK'd. But lo and behold, it's just Larry. Hi, this isn't Venonatus, I'm aware. I don't really have an hour to play right now, so I just like to send a couple gauntlets here and there, because we still need to complete both of these normal and corrupted gauntlets for the last, I think we did most of these last video. The only one we need for the normal gauntlet is the Grandmaster 4 minute task. So I'm gonna send a couple of these. Hey, we actually got really close. We've, had we gotten better hits, we would have definitely got it right there. 4.13, so we're 13 seconds off. Prep time was 1.40. That's like pretty solid. Hey, I guess there's an elite clue. I got everything we need in the first room. The weapon frame, all the shards, all the fish. Dragon's dead. Oh, a bunch more fish. Oh my god. I definitely don't even need this many fish. Yeah, still not a sub 130 prep, but this is better than our last prep even. 
It's currently our best trip we've ever had. That could have been it. Maybe that is it. Oh! 331. Damn, we just slaughtered that. Hell yeah, dude. We just completed the gauntlet. The Hunlith is now green. 10 out of 10 for the normal gauntlets. The last five for the corrupted gauntlet are going to be kind of hard to do. All right, we are going to do the corrupted gauntlet now. We have to do a run where we don't use any prayer potions. We, like don't make any prayer potions. And we also have to get full tier three armor. So those synergize well because the full tier three armor gives like a lot of prayer bonus. Can we actually get this? We might have gotten it. Wow, dude. We only use two food. I was like, there's no way we're going to be able to do that if we only have two food, but I guess you don't really need food when you have full tier three armor. Hell yeah, that's fucking sick, man. So we got two tasks. Hey, new PB, seven minutes on the dot, pretty much. Corrupted Gauntlet Speedrunner that means we need to knock off another 30 seconds off our run. That's not gonna be too hard. We could have done a lot better. Uh, don't think that's a PB, but I'm pretty sure that is a perfect Corrupted Hunlift, which I don't think we've gotten one of those yet. Yay. Yeah, it's an eight minute kill. Really slow, but there's a perfect kill. That means the only thing that we need left is this Grandmaster task for the 630 run. So I think we can do it. Another new PB, but not quite the one we want. 13 seconds off that time. We will get there eventually. Oh, hey, I guess that's also 300 KC. So that's a pretty cool thing to get. Looks like we're at 1.3 mil now. I don't know what we started at, but that is a decent amount of GP. I am definitely not stalling. I love to go out into the wilderness and risk my account net worth for long periods of time. I am not stalling. I am actually uh, moving into my new house over the next few days, so I'll be going on like a four day road trip. Probably be the longest break I'll take from RuneScape. So I'm just trying to do some chill stuff here, I guess, while we're uh, in this intermediary period. Wow. Imagine not logging in for three days and 20 hours. Dude, it's fucking XP waste. I should never have moved. Oh god. We already got the wilderness changes. Okay, I need to look at this. <laughs> okay, I just like read the whole update blog. Uh, so we got the black dragon hide stuff. So that's pretty cool. You can tell by the fact that we're wearing black dragon hide and this guy blessed hide gives like way better defense bonuses. That's fine for killing venonatus and wilderness bosses because we don't need defense. But if we scroll down to the wilderness changes, this like rock is different now so <laughs> these are these are crazy times we're living in with rocks that are different so i think our our boldy bosses are going to be pretty much the same so I guess, I guess we have another like week or two to like kill them it would it would seem also since i am in a new house i noticed in the first clip i made that it was a bit echoey i just went and like put towels and blankets over every single surface that i could it's just a temporary measure until we get this uh stuff all sorted out but i guess we were doing corrupted gauntlet runs I am in the mood to complete this. We need one more. It's the Grandmaster task for six minutes, 30 seconds. Let's go see if we can do it. Ooh, 648, not a bad run. Definitely need a faster Hunliff. Oh, Crystal Weapon Seed. <laughs> nice. Um, I don't know what we're supposed to do with that. What do we even do with that? I think if I was like going for anything, I would like keep that for like the shards or something, but I think I just alk this, right? I can't even elk it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, man. I guess we just drop those. I, I don't think that's that's probably fine, right? Hey, we completed it. What do we get? Wow. We've actually gotten that item before. Like three months ago, we got one of those. And then we dropped it because I don't think I'm going to be able to make use of that. I'd have to get a Dragon Full Helm. I can store the Dragon Full Helm G in the POH if we do get that, but that means we have to get a Dragon Full Helm and all this stuff to, in order to withdraw it. So yeah, that's a cool item to see, but we're just going to be, I guess we'll out it for 3k. And I guess that's 69 Elite Clues, so something about 69 or something. First kill back. And can we get the thing? Nope, not even the deep pick on the first kill. 58 KC. I have been like stalling at the gauntlet because this is just so stressful, man. Like I hate having my entire account net worth sitting on the ground at Priftiness. I am ready for this to be done. We're only on the first boss. Hey, <laughs> our first ever 100 Snapdragon drop. 59 KC. What a beautiful sight that is. Oh yeah. I don't remember the last time I made a clip, but we're at Venonatus, guys. And we got some diamond bolts. So we're up to 337. Ideally, we can get like a few more of those drops because we might do like Callisto after this. Use up those bolts and then go to Vedian. That face when you were going to go bank and get some food and waste time while your stuff's death piled. But then you get the dark crab drop and the super restore drop on 69 KC. 
Well, some guy just came over here and got attacked by Venonatus. Oh, he's still there. Uh, I guess that means I should just leave. I don't really want to risk that. Uh, our stuff's going to despawn in 15 minutes, so we'll, we'll cut the trip a bit short and go refresh our loot pile. Hey, there's the elite casket. What do we get? All right. There's a guy, and his name is Sit. So I will not be doing this anymore on this world. Hey, 100 grimy snapdragons? Don't mind if I do. We just got a fucking uncut dragonstone from this thing. Oh god. A Hago? A Hago fairy? What the hell? What kind of name is that? I'm gonna stay, because that person had a crossbow, I'm pretty sure. Alright, there's a- Well, that just happened again. I was about to say there's a trip done, but we got the dark crab thing with the super restores. We have no food or prayer. So we could do like another, our stuff despawns in 21 minutes. So we would have had to cut it early, but now we are extending it to the max length. 77 KC. Hey, some Onyx bull tips. Nice, another 500 K for the cash deck. All right, now the trip is over and a hundred more diamond bolts. Beautiful. 80 KC, that means we got 20 to go. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, I'm surprised I lasted that long. How did I tank like 5D claw specs, dude? Oh, yeah. Well, we died. So, guess we should go get another inventory together. Not the worst thing that could have happened. Uh, well, we lost like 400 diamond bolts and like 100 ruby bolts. So, that'll take us a little bit to get back. Why I don't know why I'm going in here. But yeah, that's okay. One death and 80 kills is not too bad. It is like peak time right now, so maybe I should have expected that to happen. This is probably my first time doing Tears of Gothics in like a year. Uh, we had like our lowest skills fire making for a long time. Are we gonna get 200? I don't think we are. That's like my dreams to get 200. Has anyone ever gotten 200? Oh shit, we actually got it. Okay, um, yeah, I guess it's gonna go into prayer or mining now, which are both pretty slow skills, or maybe we'll just stand here for a long time. 13k, nice. That's like pretty decent. I guess we'll be doing that from now on. All right, so we had to kill the Aviancies to get our Addy Bars and we got this hard clue from the guys. So what do we get? Wow. Oh my God, dude, they found me again. Wow. I think that might've been the same group of guys. They were just about ready to pounce on me, but I hopped quick enough. I don't think the 2200 total worlds are safe anymore. So I'm just going to do this and hopefully we won't get hit by any normal normie pkers all right 90 kc some more red spider's eggs i don't think we'll need that many because we already have 500 but i guess that's a nice little drop for the main hey another snapdragon drop 92 kc so beautiful man so beautiful god damn dude i need five kills can we just get five kills without a pker showing up man Oh, we need like two more kills. Come on, man. We can do it. I believe. So annoying, man. I got this spider so low. Oh, all right. There it is, guys. 100 KC at Venonatus. And we get an uncut dragonstone to send us on our way. We also got that like two kills ago. So we got two dragonstones. And we never have to do Venonatus ever again. Because if we look at the combat diary thing, it's completely green. Unless they add tasks to this, which I don't think will ever happen. We are done. And yeah, these two dragonstones will just be two backup glories. Because we are going to keep doing wilderness content. Which means we might die and need to make some more glories. Like I mentioned already, I think the next one we're going to do is going to be Callisto. Because Callisto we're going to be ranging. And we already have our range setup set up. Range setup set up. Is that... Okay, that, I guess that's how you say that. So we're going to go ahead and use up all the stuff that we got from Venonatus, and then we're going to head over to Callisto. But that is going to be for the next video. So if you liked the video, feel free to like the video. It really, really helps out getting the channel recommended out there. It like seriously helps. And if you want to see me kill Callisto, feel free to subscribe. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Stay safe out there. Take care. Until next time, I love you. Bye.